personal lens that we took from a TV that we took apart in an earlier video. First we measured our frame to see how much wood we will need. The lens from the TV had a nice plastic and metal frame, so we decided to just reinforce the original frame with a wood frame. We used some 2x2s for the frame, and the wood cost about 7 bucks. We made a pimper template to mark the holes for the screws so we could attach the ends of the frame together. We cut some larger holes so the heads of the screws would be flush with the board. We made sure the drywall screws were long enough. We pre-drilled the holes so we wouldn't split the wood with the screws. We clamped the wood to our table and drilled in the screws. We did this for all four corners of the frame. The original frame had an extra piece at the bottom, so we scored it with a blade and then used a PVC saw to cut through the thicker areas on the ends. We attached the plastic frame to the wind frame using some drywall screws. We then reattached the metal parts of the frame to the plastic part using the original screws, and we inserted the Fresno lens into the frame. The original frame held another large sheet of dark plastic and we used weather stripping in between the frame and the lens to make up for the loss in thickness. We took some more measurements and then cut out the pieces for the frame legs and support. We drilled two holes in the legs where we would attach the legs to the frame. We attached boards to the bottom of the legs like we did with the frame, countersinking the screws and pre-drilling the holes. We measured our support braces so the ends would be 45 degrees and we cut the support legs. Our saw bit broke so we had to get the miter box and finish by hand. We added some glue to the support ledge and attached them with some finishing nails. We used some bolts and a couple of wing nuts to attach the stand to the frame. And our fresco frame was finished. We took it outside to test it and we placed it on a folding table. The temperature of the driveway was almost 150 degrees. We used an old computer case to protect the table from the heat. We didn't want it to melt the table or catch it on fire. We used a metal deck tie bracket with two holes so we could line up the frame with the sum. When the beam from the sunlight was over or near one of the holes of the bottom, we knew the frame was aligned. We used a frying pan to find the focal point, and I was careful not to put my hand in the light. You also want to wear some really good sunglasses, and don't look directly at the focus light. We added a couple of bricks, and now the focal point was right on the surface of the frying pan. Now it was time to cook an egg. We added some butter, and you could see that the butter melted very quickly. With the temperature on the pan was almost 350 degrees. The highest reading we had was 647 degrees. It only took a minute or so to cook the egg, and it tasted great! I had it for lunch. Yeah.